and I'm very jealous of you because I'm a massive Elton John fan. Oh, and yes. I know you just had a conversation with him. I, did. I mean, first of all, how did that happen? I mean, I know you're part of the restoration project, right. but but how did the conversation part? Uh, I think it was for BBC that you did. Yeah, he's well. He's got a show called Rocket Hour that he does just from uh, the comfort of his own home, and <laughs> he uh, talks to people on there. I was actually the first female. That's what he told me. The uh, guest that he has had so far. But um, it's just he sits down uh, with an artist that he chooses for an hour and you talk about pretty much everything. Um, but mostly music, he has me pick certain songs that I'm a fan of, of other artists, and just tell them about, you know, other people. So it was fun getting to play some of my friend's music and just some stuff that I love. But he is the nicest, most down to earth, and most fabulous, all wrapped into one package. You wouldn't, you can't, what I love is you can't find somebody more sparkly, but also more <laughs> down to earth. You know what I mean? He's like this grandiose, iconic legend, but he's also like the nicest. That is awesome being. because he's one of my musical heroes. Yeah. And just hearing you say that, that's awesome. Oh, he could not have been more nice. And he, like, so nice, in fact, that I turn around and he's got the, these Gucci sunglasses in his hands and he's like, here, these are for you. And I'm like, no, uh, <laughs> I'm deceased now. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, uh, that is like, amazing. He's like, he ran to his closet and like grabbed him, and he's like, I, I have two of the same pair, or you know, two pairs that are like, so like that's you know. Because he's Elton John. Because and he just does. because as you do, you yeah. know. Um, <laughs> and he was like, so you should have these, and I was like, this is, yeah. That's amazing. Bye.